Well, hello everybody. Welcome here or welcome back, whatever the case may be. I noticed today, well, I had noticed it before. I even liked it before. I even think I commented on it before. Um, a post that Princess Cray made at Princess Cray. And I'll probably put like a something down in the doobly doo, which apparently comes from Wheezy Waiter, and I just enjoy that. I had heard him say it, and I just thought that's what it was called for the longest time, and, and nobody else called it that. Um, so today, in honor of Wheezy Waiter, I'm going to put things down in the doobly doo. And she, in this post that she had made, challenged me to do a makeup look inspired by the sunset. And I missed that part until today. Today is the day I noticed it and went, oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? I did not respond. I did not do anything about it. I have done a sort of sunsetty look, but it wasn't for this particular challenge. And I'm going to rectify that situation right here and right now. Now, I thought I would do something based on techniques that I've been doing in various ways. I guess that's what all of this is, isn't it? You know, when you're doing makeup, you take whatever techniques you have and you, you apply them in various ways. So I once again state the obvious and will probably reiterate the obvious and then re-reiterate the obvious. But I thought I would take my tape and see what I can get if I back to here, oh, that's not going to work. Yeah, because I do. It's very hard to do straight lines on a curved. Oh, oh, I have an idea. I have. Oh, let go. Don't stick. Don't get stuck. Don't blow around. Don't collect dust and dirt and debris. Sorry, I'm looking down while I'm doing all this talking because I'm trying to trying to get it off my finger. There we go. I am detached, but I have my scissors. And I'm going to snip part. You don't get stuck to the scissors. So I'm going to try and snip part. Wait, oh, that did. That worked. See, I'm too lazy to go up and get proper scissors, but and see, and then I can get a bit of oh, so I should have done it. Where do I want it to be? Where do I... Same thing, same thing. Okay, let's see. Problem solved. Entirely compared. Don't get the same thing on this side. Solved a problem or made one worse. See, every time I unstick the tape, I unstick the tape, it gets a little less sticky. And I gotta make sure that I get the sort of where I want it. Now, I don't imagine it will be as difficult to go across the top because I don't have, like, the nose to deal with. But I want 
not something in Okay, it's good enough to test a theory. I'm quite impressed with this, but I have a feeling it's not lined up quite as well as I would like, but again, it's a theory. And uh, testing, a, a, testing an application process. Yeah, I don't think they're lined up. I'd probably try and make them more even, but I'm not sure. That kind of symmetry is going to be particularly important. Now, the other thing that I want to put into practice with this particular look, this is where the challenge came from. I need to do something different. I've been taking the different color sponges to do my eyelids. So I thought I'll take the different colored sponges in this, create my sort of layers of sunset inspiration. Now I, have been having a lot of fun with AI. Um, I use the Bing because I like to go in and get, try and describe things and get images. And I've been trying to get frames, like unique frames, and trying to describe it so that it leaves the middle out so I can take that out. But then I always end up losing stuff around you. Anyway, I. I am in the middle of learning how to do what I would like to do, and I can get it to partially do what I want it to do. But using the Bing to get these images that I want. And I remember I wanted something where it was going to be a big fluffy feather boa to go around the edge. I wanted that kind of border. So I was trying to describe a rectangle. and. I wanted the rectangle to have nothing in it, and then I wanted it to be surrounded by a feather boa, a brightly multicolored feather boa. And I sent it to create that. It's like, just go create that, okay? That's what I would like to have. And I got a bunch of variety of things, a bunch I've used, some I'm waiting to use, some are not really hollow centers, but I have feathers and boas <laughs> combined in ways I never imagined, but they're really kind of cool. But it's stuff like you couldn't even imagine. I wanted something specific. I got something close and very not even remotely what I was thinking. So yeah. Now, the whole, I had that whole conversation just so I could say, I went in and I tried to describe the kind of thing I wanted to be inspired by, if that makes any kind of sense. And so what I did was I had it create things based on the prompt I gave it, and then I chose this to be what inspires me for this particular challenge. So I am going to use these, as I said, to get the color bands and tones that I want, and then I'm going to play more with them. And I think what I should do so I don't know what's the best color is but I think I'm gonna do yellow in the center no see I don't want yellow down here do I yellow going up to the red or do I want yellow going out to see this is the thing I wanted bands of color so I think I need to do that so I think that means I should do the outside parts first 
now. Yes, I think I, I think I can see it now. Okay. So, it's gonna be the same. Oh, should it be that then? Should it be, be that? No, no, no. It has to be this. Once I, once I start, I can't stop. Like the decision has been made. So let's see where I want it to be the boldest there and there. Okay, this isn't necessarily going to be as intense as I was afraid of. That's good. I'm gonna have to go and clean that up, I think, because that's where the tape is divided. I should have gone and maybe put another piece of tape there. And that's how I learn. Oh, so I want to curve up and I. I don't on this. So. Again, I'm kind of, this is just sort of to be my base and like guide to where I want to put the colors. And I figured this would make it easier to lay the color down. Don't want that up. That will be something else. Oh, and I did the same thing. Well, at least there's a uniformity to it. And it's funny. You think you have more face space. I looked at that and went, oh, look at all that space that I've got to apply color to. And then I'm like going, oh, with what I want to do. And the way I'm doing it, going, do I have enough room for that? See, it's on the tape, but how much is on? I guess it's decent because that's going over the eyebrows. I guess it was good that I used the darker of the colors here where the eyebrows are. I think that's smart. Accidentally smart. I guess that's lucky. <laughs> More than smart. Okay. Now, I want yellow in the center. And I planned that because then the orange is going to go between those two things. And I sort of have an idea. I'll get there when I'm when I'm there. Oh no, there's red in my yellow. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Okay, that side is clean, but now I'm gonna get it all over my fingers. Stop dragging red into my yellow. Okay, and then I'm gonna go here in between. about getting it up to the red as long as it doesn't take the red entirely away. But I suppose if I had to, I could probably go and add to the outside of this. So much for a dedicated yellow sponge. <laughs> In theory. But it's okay, I've got more sponges. These are just cheap, cheap, cheap sponges. But if I drag too much of the color, okay, get that up with something after. I'm so used to just wanting to like smear it across my face. Okay. 
Um, see. See, now I'm going to contaminate my red sponge. Ultimately, it will all blend, and I probably won't see that anyway. Now, I probably it would have been neat if I could have gone like way back or something. I don't know. I kind of like it as a mask. Because every day can be Halloween. Because Halloween is just a concept. And reality is much better. other way that I was using this really didn't take much product. This, I kind of have to gouge the color out to really do this and not as, not as effective that way. Now, the sponge I do not have is an orange sponge. I'm going to put orange in between. <clears throat> or at least, in theory, I'm putting orange in between. And that's all I've really got right now is, is theory. So, right, I've used the yellow and red, and now I'm going to go in with the orange. And again, this is all just base. And then I'm just going to kind of that where the yellow and the red touch. I don't want to cover over the red entirely and I don't want to cover over the yellow entirely. But I'm trying to get my sunset colors in there. before I get to do my accent colors. It's the color, you know, you're doing autumn leaves. So I don't know if it shows, but I've got some orange, I've got some red. Like I said, I might have to go and touch up some. Yeah, let me do that right now, too, before I pack that away. Get some red back in there again. more on the orange and the yellow because I'm going to go in with my I Love the World palette where it's falling apart several oranges, but I think is this the orange I want? Is that going to be? Yes, I think that's a good orange. And you are a suitable brush.
yellow. Something else got to yellow. And now, it's pretty yellow, but it's sort of green yellow. I'll take it. Or drag the brush with eyeshadow right through your eye. I was so focused on doing this and I was looking and then I just dragged that right across my open eye that was looking. <laughs> Don't know why I felt I need to describe that. But that was probably one of the most unpleasant things I've done by while putting makeup on. So that is the basic basics of the look today. I think I might just leave that on there while I attempt what else I wanted to do. And that was take my now from all this mucking about. It's the mucky brush because I have to clean it. <laughs> but it's the one I have dedicated for this product and I don't think this will really take anything much off because it's really caked on there. Oh, yeah, it's stiff, but yeah, that really actually did a surprisingly good job for something I wasn't expecting. because that's meant to represent like a water line and then this would be more like reflection of that. That's the concept. Now it's not going to be that literal, but that is the concept. So we have, you know, this is the, the land. Let's see. 
wear that. Now, see, I raised that up. I shouldn't have been that high. <clears throat> but I think what I will do That's the sun. Reflected. <laughs> And as always, the more I play around with things, the worse it's going to get, so I shouldn't do that. That's where I said I should have had some more tape. All in all, though, that wasn't a bad technique. It's terrible that that's the thing on hand, but it is. sunset a little from this so time for a little bit of a, a nut break and I don't have red in that so I need to do red in this
and go in with the yellow. Uh, which one was that? Which one? Why can't I read that? Hopefully, editing me can determine what that is. Uh, hopefully, it showed in there long enough for me to find it. that help in any way. Don't know. It's a blue. It's definitely a blue. I always want to overdo it. I shouldn't. No. Is there an orange of any kind in here? Is an orange or a copper? One last look in case I screw it up.
trying to find a way to enhance the orange in between the yellow and the red somehow. things any better. Oh, I'm definitely not going to put my dedicated brush in with my other brushes. Okay, so. Fluffy brush. If the inspiration really shows the way I was hoping it would. But we do have that in there. Now, I suppose I should at least put a little bit of BB cream on. intents and purposes that's my sunset inspired makeup I hope it fulfills the challenge I certainly did things that I haven't but at the same time applied things that I had <laughs> that was fun This is just like putting it on. It's like going to be fun to sort of see if it makes a difference and all that. of my hands will match my face. <sighs> I wonder if I should do banana powder. just because it's the brightest that I have in that kind of bright color. Ooh, I'm going to have to clean that brush for sure. the 
sun is. kind of putting the bright powder there and leaving it off where my natural skin is slightly not as bright and don't ask me why I put it there just felt like it and there it is right where I left it I'm forever losing things right where I left just kind of warm up slightly and that's what I mean by slightly I still think I might need to put black or the the black coffee. Or because I think it's not quite defined enough. I don't know why I'll just lift it over in the first place. No. It was there all along. Perhaps we should call you Agatha. Something feels incomplete. 
and it's probably because I don't really have good like orange glitter or bright yellow glitter something like the shine is interesting and the tones are interesting and from a distance I kind of like this I should have carried it I definitely should have carried it back further like at least to kind of where it goes in my ears and then maybe fade up or something <clears throat> but that's what I did today it's a little bit messy it's not as it's not as clean as I I was hoping like not as distinctive with the red and the orange the orange is kind of lost there's some pink creeping in from things that are mixing together and this isn't the straight line this is now coming down I wanted that to be like this I wanted it to look like a straight line across here so there's several things that have absolutely failed but the color scheme is a sunset and a concept I had a concept you know the the water line here so the sun setting with the water so you have like the bright the sun there and then the rest of it it's a concept I did not execute my concept well but I had a lot of fun I hope other people you know have some fun watching this ridiculousness so until the next time as always take care of yourselves and each other